Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this video has been very much requested. I have not done one of these videos in a really, really long time. But I am going to be running you through some designer dupes which are from Amazon. So when I say designer dupes, they're more designer inspired. So there's nothing in here which has like fake rip off logos, nothing like that. I know there are sites that you can get that from and I've actually got stuff like that from Amazon previously, but it gets taken down really, really quickly because obviously it's a rip off of a designer brand. So instead I'm focusing on stuff which is more designer inspired. If you are inspired by certain designer brands and you want something a similar style, then this is the place to be because I've got some good stuff to show you today. So everything I ordered from Amazon, all came super quick. I think most of it came pretty much the next day apart from one item which took a couple more days. Um, but I'm really impressed. I just unpackaged everything and I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. So first item I got is a necklace and look how cute this packaging is. This came in a little box. It has like a little kind of jewelry baggie in it. And this really reminded me of loads of the Dior necklaces. Dior do loads of kind of really sweet little letter necklaces, which I just think they're really, really cute, really good for like everyday kind of wear. And there are quite a few different ones you can get on Amazon. I picked up this one, which is a simple silver chain. You can choose which letter you want on it. So I just got an L obviously for my name and it's just got a few little kind of like little stones on it, a little bit of kind of shine there. But I thought these would make really, really nice gifts as well. The quality of this looks really good. It's that really nice kind of short, chocolate chain style which again really good for everyday kind of wear so i saw on the dior website they obviously have one which has the dior letters i just went for the one letter one you can actually there are quite a few links on amazon where you can have your own name put on you can customize them so if you did want to do a full-on dior kind of dupe then you could spell out the letters dior obviously they look really similar there are so many different ones that you can get gold silver whatever but i just think it's a really really cute little idea so the gold chain on dior which says dior along it which has the same kind of diamante style letters is 500 pounds this little necklace here is 10 pounds which obviously if you're looking for that same kind of look at a little baggy as well if you're looking for that same kind of style of necklace then that is a no-brainer obviously you're saving a lot of money but like i said it's a really good idea to get it maybe customized and it would make a really sweet gift as well so next up this one is probably the dupiest dupe out of everything this is a replica of the mulberry bays water bag i'm sure you guys will be very very familiar with this so like i said it's obviously inspired it's got the same kind of style same design but you don't have any of the kind of fake branding on it um this is actually really good quality i'm really really surprised so it's yeah like a decent sized bag this would be really practical has the same kind of clasp opening feature there has the same kind of flat bit over it. It also has a zipper so that you know no one can sort of put their hand in your bag and grab anything. Has loads of really convenient little compartments inside as well as a longer kind of strap as well. I'm honestly really surprised by the quality of this. It feels really good. Obviously doesn't feel mulberry quality. Let's be realistic here. But it just seems like a really good all rounder bag. Has the little feet on it. You have another little zip pocket at the back try and give you guys a bit of a close-up of the actual detailing on it i mean it is a little bit flat at the moment because obviously it's been kind of packaged and sat flat for a while but i honestly think that looks like quite an expensive bag if you didn't know it was from amazon i really don't think you'd question it so from my research the mulberry Bayswater shoulder bag retails for roughly around 995 pounds i managed to pick this one up for 28 pounds the Bayswater bags are such a classic style like it won't get out of fashion and you're saving a lot of money but it does honestly feel really good quality it's a really good kind of practical bag it's a good size if anyone is going to be heading into the office anytime soon then it's amazing kind of size bag to be able to fit everything you need in there okay i think this one's probably my favorite out of all of them it's another bag again it's a little bit flat because it's been packaged up but I noticed that Fendi had loads of these kind of bucket style bags. I love a bucket style bag. I think they are so 
cute and this one is honestly I think it looks really expensive so pretty simple it's just like a black bucket style bag like I said it's a little bit kind of flat at the moment you have this chain detail on it chain Louise uh, strap it's actually a really good length I think that's an amazing length anyway um but there is a longer strap on the inside so it has really nice kind of nickel style fastenings I just think it looks really good quality I'll try and give you a close-up of the buckles but I don't know what it is they just look they don't look cheap you have obviously this draw string style thing here with a little loop that you pull it through I'm really not showing this very well there we go yeah so you can tighten that up just pull it out like that and then it also has a popper fastening there as well so for a little bit of added kind of security you can popper it shut as well it does have um, a phone pocket in there another little pocket and a zip pocket as well to keep everything safe and then it also has a long kind of adjustable strap as well so if you did want to wear it across your body something like that then you can do that as well but honestly quality of this I think I've done well this time this is from a brand called Afkomst I'm probably saying that completely wrong but yeah I honestly can't fold it just little detailings like this and like the cappings on the end of here I just think small things like that is what kind of elevates it and makes it look a lot more expensive than it actually is. So the main kind of difference that I noticed from the Fendi one that I was looking at is that it kind of has more of like a studded detail along the strap, but it's a simple black kind of bucket bag essentially. So the one that I was looking at is called the Fendi Montresor bucket bag. Apologies if I've said that wrong. That retails for £1,490. Don't get me wrong, it is a beautiful bag, but wow, wowie. Whereas my little guy over here is gonna set you back at 26 pounds. And I actually think that is totally worth it. Even not as a kind of designer dupe, I just think it looks so cute as a bag anyway it's definitely the kind of bag I'd see in a shop and I'd pick up and I think it's definitely worth that money as well and I'll be honest with you guys not all designer dupes are that I have tested before have been great quality I would tell you if it wasn't good quality I actually think this is really good quality so I'm pretty shocked about that okay let me adjust the camera to show you the next item right so I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit disappointed when this turned up because I personally think it looks very very different to the images so I saw this and thought this just screamed like a Chanel inspired boucle kind of blazer jacket um it this is actually from Miss Selfridge but I ordered it on Amazon and from a distance it looks black and white in the description it does say pink boucle which obviously I should have known better but standard me i just looked at the pictures and i thought it was black and white so let me give you a little close-up of the fabric you can only really see when it's really close up like from a distance it looks black and white but it does have that kind of pink in there it has this really nice kind of like frayed detail along here i just think this kind of style jacket i just always think that looks very kind of chanel inspired these items are great as well to wear with like jeans and a little t-shirt and just instantly dress them up a little bit the buttons I'm not entirely sure about. They look a little bit old fashioned for my liking. So they're kind of like a pearl surrounded by like silver stuff, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna fit or not because they only had it in a size 14 and I'm not a size 14. So we shall see. Okay, it's a little tight on my arms, but that's not too bad. Sure, you know this is actually like a really nice kind of fit. So like I said, I'd probably wear it with, I've got mum jeans on at the moment, I'd probably wear it with mum jeans like this. I'd probably swap this t-shirt out for a white one. But this is like a really good kind of spring jacket, regardless of whether it's a designer dupe or not. It feels really good quality. I would prefer it if it was just black and white and didn't have the pink in it, but I guess it is nice adding that little bit of colour. It's not too kind of in your face. 
but yeah i'm actually really impressed okay so like i said that's kind of like a chanel-esque designer dupe so i did a little bit of research i couldn't find anything exactly like that i found one which was kind of similar um but it was a chanel pre-owned one um and that was like a more of a tweed well it said tweed but it looked like a boucle kind of style as well that was on for three thousand four hundred and eighty two pounds um so the one that i picked up from miss selfridge was 45 pounds 57 um if it was black and white <laughs> this is personal preference if it was black and white i would be all over this like a rash but because it's got the pink in it i just think it makes it i don't know let me know what you guys think whether the pink kind of ruins it or not or whether you think it's not really that big of a deal i do really like it i think if i were to keep it i would swap out the buttons i would just put on like black ones or something but i don't like those happy to do that if i do like it 45 pounds i think it is good quality and i do like the fit on it i'm just unsure about the pink so let me know what you guys think of that one so earlier i said that the mulberry bag was the gps dupe I take it back I think these are the GPS Jeep and I actually think I've left like the best or last I saw these and I just thought how much do they look like the Gucci slip on loafers they seem to be very in fashion right now I'm not entirely sure I like them on me but I do think they're really cool so really simple these are actually from Amazon essentials and I'm surprised because they do feel really good quality. So you just have very simple black leather style shoe. You have your gold kind of, that looks like a horse bit or something. Um, yeah, this is actually really nice and padded as well. You've got like a good solid heel on it. So although this is a dupe, I think it actually looks like quite a practical summer spring time shoe as well especially if, if people like i said are going back into the office and you're looking for a shoe that is still pretty formal but um good for summer as well then i think these are a really good shout they look quite wide so i got them in a size seven i just tried them on and sizing is definitely spot on i just don't know if they suit me i don't know if i just feel a bit silly in them i see other people wear these and i just think they look really cool but i don't know i just don't think i don't know if they're exactly my style i've got quite wide feet and they're definitely very comfortable maybe if you have narrow feet you might struggle because as you can see they do look quite wide um but anyway so the dupe that i kind of found was the the dupe the gucci ones that i found are basically the gucci princeton leather slipper slash backless loafer those retail for 530 pounds a lot of monies these ones i actually can't believe it these were 19 pounds like i said they're from amazon essentials who'd have thought who'd have actually thought they look so similar so similar i think i've done pretty well there right guys so that was everything so five different dupes there honestly these these kind of designer dupe hauls are always going to be very hit and miss you never really know what the quality is going to be like until it turns up that's what i like about amazon though it has a really easy returns so if something comes and it doesn't really look the way you were expecting it to look you can return it really really easily so it is very risk free i think my favorite has to be the bucket bag the fendi s bucket bag i think that is just so my kind of style um but yeah all in all i thought everything was pretty good quality especially for the price as well um yeah and pretty good dupes like i said i'm trying to kind of steer away from the dupes kind of thing i have done previous designer dupes i'll link the videos but the problem is that um they get taken down so quickly i had a gucci like a proper dupe of a gucci belt you can't find it anywhere now um but i think it's more fair to kind of do and i think it just looks better rather than having like a dupe dupe um it just looks better having designer inspired stuff anyway but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i'll leave all of the links down in the description box in case you do want to go and check anything out but if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time i will see you guys later